Hello, hello there, and welcome to another Battlefield video. Uh, we just had some scavenger play uh, yesterday, and um, today we have some TDM, some simple team deathmatch. Uh, I have probably played this match only, this map only once before, uh, probably like a year ago. Or so I, I vaguely remember having played a TDM on this map. And uh, there's a lot of maps where I have not played TDM on it, so it's funny even, you know, a, a game that has almost been out for two years and you can still find new things. So this game is simply amazing. Uh, you can disagree with me on that, but uh, that's just uh, how I feel about this game. Uh, there's always something new. I don't ever really get bored because if you get bored with one thing, then you can go on, move on to the next thing, and you're still in the same game. So uh, this this value for this game is just crazy. Thinking of you know you pay the same price for other games where you have maybe like five hours of fun and then you put it down and you never touch it again. And this a game like this, you have two years of fun, and even after two years, you probably could have more fun with it. So I think that's pretty interesting. So we're here on Demo and Peak. That's not necessarily one of my favorite maps. It's actually one of my least favorite maps, believe it or not. Um, it's pretty cool when you play Rush because you can jump off that, you know, high ledge of the, that mountain, that cliff above, uh, and it, the map is much, much bigger. Uh, but in Conquest, it's like you have like this fight through the tunnel, and you know you're on one side or the other side of the tunnel. And in the middle, there's all this fighting going on. And, you know, I've had a couple of matches that were kind of fun. But most of the time, it's it's just very frustrating. There's a ton of spawn camping going on. Uh, you know, whoever's the uh, stronger team will just constantly be at the entrance of the tunnel or even come up all the way to the spawn. And you have no chance to even get uh, much far, far out of the spawn. And so that's one of the maps that I believe, and I don't think I'm the only one that wasn't designed really well, but maybe they just wanted to put like something challenging in like that and see how people deal with it. So uh, since I haven't played this map uh, in probably over a year and just, you know, played it like once before, I'm not really much familiar with the uh, all the corners and all the flanking routes and everything here. So I pretty much felt like, uh, I don't know where the enemy is. Uh, I don't know exactly, you know, where the best way is, where I'm the safest, where I have the best uh, options to get kills. So I was basically uh, running around a little bit lost here. But I said to myself, you know, I'm trying to um, be more careful and not just like run gun like a lot of times I do and try to really uh, help our team win this thing. I came in like later in this in this match. This match has already been going for I don't know ten minutes or so. So um, I didn't know if we did well or not. It seemed like we were the losing team uh, because at the beginning of this match, as you can see here, I got taken down quite a bit, and I was like, I gotta find a good strategy here. I just gotta approach this differently, and I found this. Uh, this side of the map uh, more effective here to just kind of let them, I was trying to see if I can just kind of let them come to me, figure out where they're coming from. I'm hearing footsteps. Here we go. One guy down. And so I'm basically just sticking to this side and um, as you can see the rest of the match, uh, I basically managed to um, have a really good strategy and take out as many as I can without dying uh, much at all, uh, which gave our team an advantage. So, um, enough about that. So what I wanted to talk about is like this Xbox One thing. I've heard a lot of gamers uh, questioning if they are getting the Xbox One or not, if they're even gonna stick with Xbox or not. Um, some gamers are heard saying, oh, I'm going to go get, you know, switch to PlayStation 4. And other gamers were like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I'm kind of in the situation at where I definitely don't want to switch to the PlayStation 4. Uh, I've never really cared for the PlayStation 4. I always, you know, looked at it as a console for kids. 
I like the bigger controller of the Xbox. I like the interface of the Xbox. And you know, you get what you pay for. You know, if you don't pay for uh, ex you know live service for online service, then yes, the online service gets hacked in a lot, like that happened in PlayStation 4, or it's down a lot. So I've heard actually that PlayStation 4 is going to start charging for online gaming as well. So they say there is really going to be no difference between Xbox and PlayStation and Xbox claims that the hundred dollars extra price tag uh, will give us a lot more things that PlayStation doesn't have. I don't know what that's going to be but we'll find out. I have decided to stick with the 360 as long as I can. I have the latest 360 right now. Uh, I will play the heck out of it until it dies and then I will get a new 360 because they're coming out with new 360s at the end of the year I heard and it's better than the one that's out right now so you know uh, there's no reason to buy a new 360 on, if your 360 still works really well because I don't think that the games are gonna run any better or whatnot um, maybe they're more silent they're smaller we'll see what it is um, but I would suggest that to anyone who's a little bit hesitant about the Xbox One to just wait and see. But in the meantime, we gamers need to, um, you know, sit together and or stick together and basically keep telling Microsoft to lower the price on their systems, to hire some first party game developers and drop the, the, the used game online DRM policies. And we also think that they should change the name of the system, don't you think? I mean, Xbox One, that's just, I mean, so silly. I could not believe when I heard that, I was just like, what? I was waiting for the guy to say, oh, just kidding, no, it's like Xbox Infinity or Xbox 720 or even something much cooler that nobody of us thought of. And then there's the design. Uh, the design is just hideous. Uh, I don't want to say that PlayStation 4 has a much better design. It's a little etchier. But what's up with those like black square boxes? I mean, are we going back to the 80s or something? It's like, I mean, when you look at what gamers like, you know, when they mod their Xboxes or the cases of the Xboxes, they have the coolest looking Xboxes. And I mean, Microsoft could just really hit it with the gamers if they would do special edition Xboxes where they have amazing graphics on the Xbox like graffiti art and uh, maybe transparent boxes uh, with cool lights in it. And yes, gamers are willing to pay a ton of cash for that kind of stuff. I mean, when you look at serious gamers and the type of cash they pay, put into PC gaming systems, uh, people who don't want to play on PCs or don't want to shed out like three, four, five, ten thousand dollars for a PC gaming machine, they're totally willing to uh, shed out at least five, six, seven hundred up to a thousand dollars for a really, really good gaming console. I I mean, I would if, if it was an amazing looking piece that is can do anything uh, a gamer needs and, and wants. Uh, it, it's definitely worth it and if it's a it's a good good gaming console it will last for years so it will be a very good investment I mean PCs don't last that long I mean they have to constantly be replaced and upgraded so there it's ongoing cost so uh, a gaming console will always be cheaper and then they also could like offer you know different types of controllers so we don't have to go to third party uh, companies that uh, a lot of times offer uh, things that don't work quite as good as the originals that came with the Xbox or the originals that are actually made by Microsoft. So they could offer really cool headphones instead of the crappy ones. I mean, they can include some cheap crappy ones with the system and then offer some really good ones that cost money instead of offer some that cost a lot of money and they're still crappy what they've done. So that's just what I think, you know, as a designer, I would love to and I may actually, if I find some time, put some time in this and and go and come up with my you know idea I've, I've I made a little like quick design in Illustrator already to kind of show what an Xbox a new Xbox could look like but you know that was just really a, a quick little sketch I would like to just design something and and basically send that to Microsoft and say hey 
you know, don't you think something like this would have really been uh, uh, gone really wild with the gamers instead of presenting them with some grandma looking box, uh, something that you see at grandma's house and you like don't even know what it is. And um, it's, you know, like, what, 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 is, what is that black box? You know, did you steal that off a plane or something? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> trying to be silly here, but I'm not. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping, because Microsoft knows that they have made a huge mistake, uh, they probably will never um, admit it. I haven't heard them admit anything. They, I haven't heard them show any regrets or anything. But everyone else has noted, noticed, and yet the PlayStation 4 clearly was the winner because they are focused on the gamer and not focused on uh, just kind of like trying to figure out, oh, where can we make the best money? Of course, every company always wants to make the most money. But at the end, if you piss people off, you make a huge mistake and you lose the, the kind of crowd that liked you the most, then then you're making a big mistake. And Microsoft is not necessarily a very popular company. All the young people nowadays, they go with the Apple products because the Apple products have great design, they're intuitive, they're user-friendly, um, you you just, they're, they're fun, they're cool, they're edgy. Microsoft is not cool and edgy. But when it came to the Xbox, Microsoft was cool and edgy. They were ahead of the game, they made a console that people loved, they had awesome games for that console. Uh, they just really uh, had were on top of the list, and now they lost it all by just kind of like don't give a, a darn anymore about the kind of people that really were uh, into uh, that kind of Microsoft product. And another company that always was on top, or so far is on top, is called the Call of Duty franchise, and it looks like they're kind of losing some footage too, because their new game doesn't look any good, uh, the graphics are not good, the uh, dog in there uh, moves like a stuffed animal. Um, a lot of people notice that, you know, they're probably going to lose the war soon too. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. We won. Yay. Take care. Bye-bye.